Hello friends, I am Ganesh and in this video we are going to discuss the meaning and significance of the preamble. Dear friends, as we know, we have been reciting preamble since our childhood. In our schools or college, before starting any program, we recite preamble. But friends, did you think what is the preamble? If no, don't worry, I am going to explain it in detail. Ok, let's start. Dear friends, the word preamble is originated from Latin word that is preambulus which means to go before. It means before going to the whole Indian constitution we need to understand the preamble. According to advocate Nana Palikola, preamble is an identica and it is an introduction to the constitution. According to Ken Munsi, preamble is the political husk of the constitution. Dear friends, the preamble it is totally based on the objective resolution which was passed by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru on 13 December 1946. Dear friends, let's start. We the people of India. We the people of India. It implies that the constitution of India, the constitution of India has been enacted by the people through their representative. Okay. Then, friends, we have to understand certain terms or keywords. Okay. First, sovereign. What does it mean? We have the ultimate power to make decisions on internal as well as external matters. There is no external interference. We have the ultimate power. That is sovereignty. Next, socially. Socialist. It refers to the society. We have to achieve social goals. Like equal, equal distribution of resources, equal pay for equals. We have to make welfare state. Okay. That is socialist. Now, secular. Secular. It means that the state has no official religion. Everyone has right to practice, profess and propagate their own religion. In other words, we can say Sarva Dharma Samva. That is secular. In our Indian constitution, Article 25 to 28, it guarantees the uh, freedom of uh, right to religion. It is totally based on the secular. Secularism. Okay. Now democratic. Demo means people. Uh, as we know, democracy. Demo means people and crisis means rule. Means government by the people, for the people, of the people. The democratic country rule by its own constitution. That is democracy. Means people enjoy their right or elected, uh, elected rulers. Okay, that is democratic. Now, republic. Republic. What is republic? The head of the state is an elected person, not a hereditary position. As we know, the head of our uh, country is Prime Minister, who is our uh, real head, Prime Minister, and who is our nominal head, President. But they are elected person. Prime Minister as well as President. They are elected person, not a hereditary position. Okay, now justice. Citizens cannot be discriminated on the grounds of birth, religion, or gender. What kind of uh, justice or constitution grants? That is social, economic, and political. Okay, now friends, next term that is liberty. It is the freedom of the people, for the people to choose their way of life. For example, if you want to go somewhere, I can go. If, you, if I want to think, I can think. Everyone has a right, but there are certain exceptions or there are certain limitations. Okay. Liberty of thought means we can express our thought likewise. Belief, faith, and worship. That is liberty. Next, equality. 
this is it is a state of being equal especially in right of opportunities okay it means it, it, uh, all people are equal before the law or equal protection of the law means then fraternity fraternity is it is a sense of common brotherhood or an emotional attachment with the people of india it means we have we have to behave, behave like we are member of same from the same community okay that is fraternity now integrity integrity means integrity means it is a state of being honest or fair now friends the word socialist secular and integrity these three words were added by the second amendment act 1976 okay now friends a uh, question arises that whether the preamble is the part of indian constitution or not answer is yes but we have to go through the some cases first case that is very very case in this case supreme court held that preamble is not the part of indian constitution but later on in keshavananda bharti case in this case supreme court held that preamble is the part of indian constitution and so it is a basic structure of the constitution in this case supreme court supreme court also held that fundamental right as well preamble can be amended but basic structure of the constitution cannot be amended third case in 19, 1995 union of india versus lsc case in this case supreme court held that preamble is the integral part of indian constitution is what integral part of indian constitution so that's it friends we will see in next video till then bye bye